Yo, what's up, it's Nez, and welcome to Thomas Brush's Pinstripe. This game has been in development for a few years, but it finally got off its Kickstarter goal. It earned 100,000 of its 25,000 mark, and after first glance, it seemed like the perfect game to play because one, it looks like a Tim Burton game, and two, it looks like a narrative-driven game, and we all know that I love those on our channel. So without further ado, let's start. Thomas Brush presents... A game for Kelsey. So if you haven't already known, Pinstripe is a game about a father that goes into hell to find her daughter, his daughter. And this must be a game tributed to the developer's own daughter, Kelsey. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Well, that was spooky. So while everyone and their mother is playing Outlast 2, we're here going down our own Wake depths up, of hell. For our daughter, Bo. Uh, what? You're sleepwalking again. Sorry, sweetie. Hey, do you smell smoke? I do, actually. Let's go investigate. Let's investigate on this creepy it. train. You got it, Watson. You're silly. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest father of them all? It's a mirror, Sherlock. I can see that, Captain Obvious. It's so dusty, I can barely see your face. Spooky. <laughs> look at us, Dad. We look like funny ghosts. Yes, we do. Boom! It's Boo, sweetie. Oh, right. Boom! Mm, close enough. Close enough, sweetie. What is that? Hello. Poor Georgie. Hi there, little doggo. You look nice. He's all stuffed in his crate. Well, I'm pretty sure the conductor of this train wouldn't like it if there was a dog running around. But I digress. What's that, Daddy? A drop. A drop of what? It looks like a frozen drop of... oil? Oil? What's frozen oil doing on this train? Mysterious things are happening on this train. And what's the switch do? So the switch opened the door. Good to know. What is this? Why is all your stuff thrown out that door, Daddy? Someone threw my stuff out the door. We must go catch him. I'm not sure. And is that... Is that Mommy's locket? Aw, they have such a nice looking family. We're not smiling though. What the hell? Okay. So that's our locket. What's this? It's a painting of a strange man. We can save on it, apparently. And it makes a cha ching sound sound. Mine. What the hell? She's mine. Who wrote that? And I would not want to meet him. What's this? Watson? I think I can reach that button. Okay, stay there. So we push it together and we open the door. Brilliant! Ah, what a fancy room. So the door locked on us again. I guess we have to hit the switches. On the bottom of these. Ah, they're on the top of these platforms. That worked. Um, mm. Hi there. You seem like a fun individual to hang out with. What's your name? Would you like to share some good of that whiskey? Morning, um, good morning. And who might this be? Um, this is Bo. Hello there, Bo. Do you like balloons? 
I like balloons. How about a shiny black one? Mm, maybe not now. Who are you though? We're just a friendly man. Mr. Pinstripe sounds a friendly name. It sounds like a 1980 serial killer. With a shiny black balloon. Okay, time to go, Bo. Time to go. Oh, and Bo. Uh, hmm. Yeah, yes, uh, Mr. Creepstripe. I like your dress. Um, yeah. Let's go, Bo. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, what is this? Right. A sack full of what? Looks like a dry old sack. It makes me dizzy. Huh. Okay. What do we do if we go on top? Nothing? Hmm. We go back. Look, what the I'm hell is that? Daddy. No, no, no. Bo! Stop! Where did he, where did he go? Where'd Pinstripe go? Pinstripe? <laughs> oh, I swear, get the fuck away from my daughter. Bo! Come back! Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> my, my, my. Your little girl is a feisty one. I will fucking kill you. Put Bo down right now. But don't worry, Ted. She'll soon call me father. What? What? What's that? Pinstripe just took our daughter. Oh, it's on. That was a brilliant intro, by the way. Magnifique. I love the Tim Burton aesthetic of the whole game. It runs smoothly, too. It was designed and developed by one person, Thomas Brush, and the amount of passion shows in absolutely everything. The writing, the aesthetic. Where are we? Edgewood. <laughs> Hi, little burb! What do you have there? Bo's scarf. It smells like smoke. And whiskey. Fucking hell. Pinstripe was drinking whiskey. Where are you, Pinstripe? No! Huh? No, Bo! Shit, we can't go up there yet. Have to go the other way. What? Hello. Hi there. The consumption of my speed shrooms is strictly prohibited. Side effects include nausea, diarrhea, suicidal thoughts, or a plus one upgrade of player SS. Shoot speed. So don't do it! Prinkles Balloon Shop! What a weirdo. So there's no way to get up on that direction, seems like, because you can't jump high enough. What is this? The door is locked with a golden padlock. I guess we should go upstairs. Oops, I missed that. Well, there's a way to get up here, though, so might as well. There's some stuff over there. Hi there! What's your name? And why are you hanging from that branch? Why are you holding a sack? Hey! Um, hi, Felix. Hello. Up here! Why the hell are you dressed like a damn creature? Wait. That sounds familiar. Is this PewDiePie? Felix? He's in this game. That's definitely PewDiePie's voice. He voice acted for this game. And he's in hell, apparently, with us. Have you tried these sad things? Um, no thanks, Pewds. No thanks. Let's try to get you off from there. Whoa. We'll get you off, don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have just killed PewDiePie. May you rejoice or mourn his passing. And there he is. He's still dead. Nope, you're alive. Uh, uh, not cool, bro. Cool, bro. 
I'm not your bro. Sorry. Well, it seems like there are conversation options in this game. And from what I gather, they might be morality choices. So in order to not get a bad ending, I'm not gonna take a risk and just keep choosing the good, ch the good, like the good guy choices. We almost killed PewDiePie though. A strange painting. Another portrait of a very aggressive looking male. Game save. Hi there. What's your name? Chad. Chad. Do I know you, Mr. Dicky? Brilliant name you have there. Don't you recognize this sexy face, swine? It's me, Mr. Dicky. Mm, maybe I would have recognized you, but you seem to have floating bubbles above your forehead. Just get out of here. I'm miserable. But I need help. Welcome to hell. <laughs> now get. My girl was kidnapped. Pinstripe. Yeah, definitely. But who? Uh, I think I might know where she is, Ted. The Hangley House. The Hangley House. But I'm not sure how you're going to defend that silly body of yours without a weapon. Until you find one, I'm afraid I can't help you. Well, thank you, kind sir. We'll go find a weapon. Might as well find a weapon. What is... Toy box. There's a slingshot hanging from that branch? Well, how are we gonna go climb it? This tree is hungry. Um, we'll feed you as long as it doesn't involve my parts, my body parts. So, you have to find something to feed this tree. He probably wants... I have no idea what the tree could want. What do you guys think a tree could want to eat? Wait, what is that beside Felix? One of those sacks. With a sensational scent. Take. Well, I get, I'm guessing we could use this to feed him. Bye, pudes. We'll come back for you later. Let's see if this works. What, what are you staring at? I'm looking at you, Mr. Dicky. Is there any moles? I've got fresh, heaping moles on the ground. But they're genetic, I swear. That's gross. I'm sure I wouldn't want moles on my Mr. Dicky. My mother always told me they were a gift from God. But I wanted to get them sliced off by Dr. Shrenweld, because I always knew Birdie was too beautiful for me. Is Birdie the name of your wife? I always look like a deformed clown, all the way through primary school. You don't look half bad, man. Come on, we'll get a weapon, and then we'll go find Birdie and Bo together. Alright, alright, we got your sack. Cha -cha! And branches are now growing out. Boing, 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 boing. Bo's toy slingshot. Happy birthday, Bo is carved onto the wood. Click or press trigger to release. You can break things like that box. What box? This box? Oh no. This box. That's nice. Toy box. It seems like we don't know what the code for this is yet. We could try for the whole episode, but I think that wouldn't be interesting to do. So let's go down and try to proceed wherever we can go. Can we break this? Yes, we can break it. And there uh, are uh, health in there. Mr. Dicky, where'd you go? Mr. Dicky, where did you go? There you are. Hi, Mr. Dicky. That can break. What took you so long, butt slug? Don't call me a butt slug. Only I can call I'll me a butt slug. you up at the Hangley House. Where? I told you. The Hangley House. Just up the mountain. Up the mountain, you say? I'm sure that's where Pinstripe is keeping Bow. Well, if that's where we're keeping him, where he's keeping her, We'll def definitely kill him with this slingshot. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, Felix is gone. PewDiePie is gone. Did he pass away or did Pinstripe get him? I have no idea. 
So there's no way to get up there yet, is there? Is there no way to get up there yet? Doesn't seem to be. The slingshot doesn't also seem to be strong enough to destroy any of these black mushrooms. And what's this on the ground? A secret film strip. Take. Hmm, that looked mysterious. But whatever. We're going up the mountain to the Hangley house. We push this. Now we can climb up. Hangley Pass. Can we destroy this? Yes, we can. A bunch of health. What is that? It's a windmill. Is this his house? Fanciful house. You have the Eye of Sauron on top of it. Brilliant decoration. Not my choice though when it comes to an abode, but okay. Men will have their preferences. What's up, you crazy motherfucker? Give me my daughter back. Give me my daughter back! Ryuga Wakateki Wakure! Well, that's not working. Hello, Ted. Take me to Bo. Oh, you've enlisted the stinking mothball Dicky to help you find a boat. Hey, you can't call him a stinking mothball. Only I can call Mr. Dicky a stinking mothball. My inclination tells me that poor old Dickie's back is as strong as a silly wooden puppet. He may be old, but he's helping us. So I think Bo will just spend some time with me in my little parsonage. Yes, I think that's precisely what we'll do. Not if I have anything to say about it. Yeah, we're not gonna retort back at him. We're gonna be mature. What's this button do? That doesn't do anything for some reason. What is this? Up, oh, the Hangley Pass. Down, Red Wash. Because we're adventurers, we will go down to the Red Wash, whatever that is. So there's a button over here. What does that do? This cave looks dark and evil. It's pitch black and nothing can be seen. Well, doesn't seem like we can go there yet. <gasps> George! George! I will save you! Doesn't seem like I can open it with my slingshot. But those blinking lights must be the key to it. We press one button that turned on the first light, so I'm guessing the green light is next, and what I remember, the green light is over here. Okay, so it's working now. We should find the red light and we can free George. What is this? It's blocking our way. Get out of my way. I have to go save my daughter. And there's a red light. So we could go save George now. George! I'm coming to save you! Come here, pupper! Whoa. Thanks for that, Ted. George can talk. He can talk! It's a miracle! I was wondering if I was ever gonna get out of that thing. Hey, where's Bo? Oh, wait! I recognize his voice. Is this Cry? This is Cryotic. He's voicing George. What the hell? This game has a bunch of horror YouTubers voicing voicing the characters. This is Cry. This is definitely Cry. I can recognize that handsome, raspy voice anywhere. Uh, I was afraid of that. Well, we've got to get her, man. Yeah, that's Cry. I wonder if I can help sniff out some clues or something. Speaking of which, is Mr. Dickey somewhere around here? Yeah, I can smell that guy's butt from a mile away. Cry can get- <laughs> Cry can smell a guy's butt from a mile away. Come on, pupper! I mean, Cry. This game 
So does it have any more YouTubers that we could find and rescue? What's this? Cry! You dig this up. Oh, okay, that's a that's a butt mushroom. We can jump now. Can we get this key? No, we can't. Oh, what the? Who are you? Father? Oh, oh my god, is this Jack guy? Help! This is Jack. This is definitely voiced by Jack. This demon thing is eating me alive! Ladies and gentlemen, Jack guy is being eaten by a demon alive. I'm not eating you. I'm just sitting here you to rush. Don't worry, sweetie. It's gonna be fun now, huh? This is sack of juice to drink all day and night. I don't think Jack's into that. Oh, really? <clears throat> well, wait, wait, he agreed. Um, mm. hurry up. We haven't got all day. Uh, mm, um, okay, bye, Jack. We can't save you. Well, that was by his own choice. He wanted to drink the sack juice. So there's nothing we can do for him now. So there are definitely lots of YouTubers that voice this game. That is so interesting. We found PewDiePie, we found Cry, we found Jack. Eventually, of course, Mark is gonna be here. What's this? Father, we're so sorry for your loss. To Samuel 9B, elders of staff. So, I mean, I'm... Thinking this might be because of the mother. I think she's dead already. That's why we're a single father. Let's try to get up here. What else is up here? What is that? What is this? What are you? What are you? Well, what did I do? I did not do that. What is that on the rock? Brevet. Does that spell anything to you? Nope. Uh, that looks like it'll explode. Get away! At least we know Cry doesn't get damaged. What's this? Another... The door's locked with a golden padlock. Another door locked with a golden padlock. Okay. So we can't get through that. We need to find a golden key! Well. I fell. Let's go back up. So, we have to find a golden key to unlock that. What do we do if we shoot this? Alrighty then. Well, hi there. Oh! Oh, that guy is shitting bombs. Can he shit it on this cannon? Mm -hmm. That works! Good thinking, Ted. Thanks, Cry. Oh god, let's kill this before it hurts us even more. There we go. The this door is locked, locked with a silver padlock. padlock. So I'm guessing we can't open it until we get a silver key. Which might be over here? Why not? Hi there, Mr. Dicky! <laughs> you okay, Dicky? Oh, my back feels like hell. Well, I'm sorry, man. Now listen, Snot. We don't have much time. Uh, We're already being nice to you. Don't be mean to us, at least. Bo, it's just up the mountain in the Hangley house. Aren't you coming? I'd love to see those prissy pin legs climb this mountain at my age. Well, that can also work. Is there any way to go here? Nope, seems like we died. Ah. And there goes the key. A silver key. A tiny P is etched into the handle. Hmm, I wonder who it belongs to. Question mark. Let's go back to the house and let's see what's in the house. Hmm. 
jump Now we can unlock it. Bo, are you in there? Bo? Doesn't seem to be anyone in here. What is this? Hi there. Hello. Bo. Bo, where are you? Mother. I will kill you. We have to find Bo. What is this? This record player is covered in red feathers. Red feathers? The record is called Miss Birdie Bondet Intermezzos and in Other Contemplations. Miss Birdie is Miss Dickey's wife. This song is called The Last Smile. Guess we can save. A portrait of a finely combed fella. Sir, what's his name? Deke. Bless my bosoms. Miss Birdie, why are you in a bird cage? Teddy bear, is that you? Um, yes. Also, don't call me Teddy bear. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's nice to see you, Teddy. Nice to see you too, Miss Birdie. Where's my little friend Bo? Your husband said she was here. Oh, did he now? Dickie's pulled a fast one on you, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, so he led us here to save you, I guess. So, are you going to get me out of this contraption or not? Sure. I guess we could save you, there's no point not saving you. So I'm guessing we wait for it to swing around, and then we can shoot the other side. Swing around some more. There you go. I'm guessing you meant to do that? I did not mean to kill her. Regardless, I think you may have killed her. Cry stop stating the obvious. Um, okay. She was already in hell. She might have already been dead. So, you can't die twice, right? At least you were nice to her before she fell to her death. Cry, why are you being so blunt? She really was a sweet old lady. Um, say a few words, Cry. Um, to Miss Birdie, may her soul fly forever and ever through the sky and into the heavens. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. <clears throat> oh, Mr. Dickey caught her. Brilliant, Mr. Dickey. Insane. Probably was. <clears throat> Dicky has something to say to you, don't you, Dicky? It's okay, Dicky. Uh, I lied, but I just wanted help finding my little birdie. Well, we I guess we have to stick together if we're gonna find Bo. Pinstripe lives down in Red Wash. Mm -hmm. A lake deep in the bowels of hell. Yeah. He's probably locked your sweet bow in his creepy parsonage. Not before I ram his head into a wall. To get there, you need light. Let's see if I've still got it. Oh, oh yes, here it is. One night, after Bow and I were playing with her toys, she gave me this piece of paper. I wonder if it could help you find light. We probably need light to go into that deep, dark, scary hole full of evil. Thanks. Examine the clue later if you forget it. Top secret. See the clue icon flashing down at the bottom of the screen? That's where you can check out all the clues you found on your journey. Be sure to examine them closely. Anyways, we'll meet you down in Red Wash. I'm sure we'll find Bow, sweetheart. We probably can. Top secret. Password. Ten tablets. What? Okay. So that must be the clue to finding a light. Ten tablets. What could that mean? Oh, what the hell is that? Ugh. Little lady droppings. If That's a giant her, turd. You gotta jump on her butt, man. Jump on her butt? Jump on her butt? 
Um, whatever that means. Okay, thanks for the tip. Oh god, that's gross. That's gross. But whatever. Let's go find the light. Hi there! What's your name? Uh, I'm guessing we must jump on your butt. We're jumping on your butt. Ouch. Jumping on your butt. Oh god, we got killed. What? What, what just happened? Game over. Game over. Continue. Oh, are we still here? No, okay, we, we saved her at least. So we go back down. And then we go fight little lady. We'll go fight little lady. Hi there. I'm guessing we have to jump on your butt. Jump on the butt. Jump on the butt. Jump on the butt. Jump on your butt. Brilliant. That showed her. So we have to find the light. We can't go down there yet. Maybe we could find the light back in the... Oh my. I swear. I swear. What are you doing? What? Who's that? Bo. Oh my god. He's got her strung up. In the Eye of Sauron. We have to save her. There must be something back here that we could use. Maybe it's something to do with the toy box we left on the top of the tree. That has something to do with it, right? Right. So we're back at Edgewood. But the only clue we have is 10 tablets. And there's a balloon over there. Get away from me. Get away. Get away. There are a bunch of balloons now. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay. There are a bunch of balloons now. And there's another place we can dig up. Cry, dig this up for me. What is that? An empty pill bottle. Pill bottle? T tablets. Stage 4 treatment. Blank tablets three times a day. Are these the tablets that, were th that they were talking about? So the key is 10 tablets? Are these the tablets? We can't open that yet without a gold key. So let's go find whatever needs finding, I guess. Felix is still gone. We don't know where he went. Well, this is new. Happy is Armory. Hi there. Hello, father. Do I know you, Happy? It's me, Happy. Um, who? Oh, you know me, Ted. Bo's friend. <laughs> um, I swear I don't know anyone that's ha that happy that knows my daughter, Bo. Well, anyways, you look especially anxious and moist right now. Well, wait, what? Moist? Wish I could pour you a drink, pal, but you'd have to go to Red Wash for that, Lee. I have no interest in drinking the black sack liquid. But I could sell you something even better <laughs> for the right price. You should buy oh. this illegal tummy gun for a thousand frozen drops. I don't have a thousand frozen drops. I only have about... I can't even see. <laughs> How many do I have? 35? 38! I don't have 38. So let's see. It's over here. Must be have must be something to do with this. Ten tablets. Ten tablets. Toys. So I have no idea what this code is. Well. There's that. So how do we get a light? That's the only question now. And I think that's where we'll end this episode for today. 
Thanks for watching guys, my name is Nez, like and subscribe for more Pinstripe, we'll be playing this all throughout, and it's getting so interesting, the, the story is very intriguing, we're in hell, we're chasing down Satan, whatever his name is, God, whoever the fuck stole our daughter, and we're out for vengeance. And we met a bunch of YouTubers along the way. So, once again, thanks for watching, bye bye